today I'm going to talk about this ceramic heating element for a soldering iron. The main advantage of this heating element is the fast heating speed. It costs about two dollars. I will put links in the description below this video on YouTube. I believe it's an A1321 HECO clone. It's a ceramic heating element with a temperature sensor. The sensor is a thermoresistor. It's compatible with 907 soldering iron handle and 900M series soldering iron tips. You can watch my previous video about these items. As you can see, this ceramic heating element has four wires. Two wires for the heater and two wires for thermoresistor. Normally, this ceramic heating element is a part of the HECO 907 soldering iron handle. Ceramic heating element generates heat using PTC or positive temperature coefficient ceramic. But sellers usually cut the costs and sell the handle with a cheap Nichrom wire heater with a thermocouple as a temperature sensor. A Nichrom heater is made of a Nichrom wire coiled around one half of a ceramic rod and covered with a ceramic sleeve. In the ceramic heating element you can see electrodes which form some kind of net along the entire ceramic heater. You can use a flashlight to spot the difference. The ceramic heating element has a nice cylindrical shaped end. In contrast, the Nichrom wire heating element tip has a rough shape.
If our soldering station uses a thermocouple as a temperature sensor, then it probably has the design as shown in picture. The thermocouple voltage amplified by an amplifier and then ADC converts the voltage to a number. For the amplifier, the thermocouple looks like a voltage supply that depends on temperature. If we want to replace a thermocouple with a thermoresistor, then we have to somehow convert temperature-dependent resistance to voltage that depends on temperature. The easy way to do this is to use a voltage divider as shown in picture. So we need to add a resistor to our circuit. In my case it was a 15 kilo ohm resistor. 